Love that song, right? Arizona home to some amazing water eating holes and this time of year the fish are biting. So get ready for free fishing day. Gibby is live and has already gone fishing. All right, Gib, catch us some dinner. Oh, I'm trying to, Javier. I will tell you though, uh, I, I'm really not good at this, but I'll tell you someone who is. Uh, the gentleman you see standing over there, that's Andy Clark. He's with Arizona Game and Fish. And you know what? We've always said this, and it's one of Scott Passmore's favorite saying, if it's free, I'll take three. Tomorrow is free fishing day. For those of you who have been on the fence, have thought about going fishing, but said, well, I don't really want to make that commitment yet because you just can't go fishing as you wish. You do need a license, Andy, and that's the main thing here. People need to understand if you are going to go fishing other than tomorrow, right. you need to have a permit. That's correct. Yeah, tomorrow is just one of those days where if you're on the fence, maybe you uh, don't think you, you want to spend the, the money. Maybe you don't know how to start fishing. Um, Free Fishing Day is part of National Fishing and Boating Week, and it's just a really good opportunity. The states have all said, hey, uh, go out, try the resources, try what we have. We stock thousands of, of catfish and trout um, in the days leading up to free fishing day. That way you go out, um, you know, you have the best chance, you have a really good chance of catching something. And then hopefully we get you hooked, so to speak, and uh, you go get your fishing license and you take your family and, and maybe just hang out with your friends or something and, and go uh, a bunch more times. You know, one of the things, uh, Vanessa back in uh, back at the studio was asking me where I was fishing, and I either got it caught up on something or I caught something, but I digress. Uh, Vanessa was asking me, hey, where are you fishing? Yeah. And I was like, hey, I don't give up secrets, but the thing is, <laughs> there are some fishing groups now. If you go to Fish AZ on Facebook, that's, right. that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to tell you where they're biting. They're going to tell you exactly where to look, where to fish, a good yeah. spot, that kind of thing, right? Absolutely, yeah. We started the, uh, the Fish AZ group site on Facebook here a few weeks ago and it's just been a great success. We have almost 4,000, just shy of 4,000 uh, members on that group right now and it's just going through the roof and the whole idea was just just like you said, you know, have the anglers tell other anglers where the fishing's good. The Game and Fish for years did a fishing report and um, there was a lot of work that went into those fishing reports um, but they were always behind the curve, right? They were always a week uh, maybe two weeks behind with that kind of information. This way, anglers can show you exactly what they're catching, what they're using, where they're at, and it's almost instant. So, yeah, I, you know, the other thing is, is that uh, the one one of the things people really don't know is there is a pond or a lake in their backyard, and you guys are stocking them. They are ready to go. There are a ton of fish ready for them to go and have fun. That's right. Yeah, our community fish program has been up and running for quite a few years now. Um, boy, it's almost to, to 50 waters throughout the state, primarily Phoenix and Tucson, but now we have waters in uh, Flagstaff, uh, Sholo, uh, St. John's, Ash Fork, Yuma, uh, all over the state now. So uh, our whole mantra was to get it within five miles of, of most anglers. So obviously we're not there yet, but man, we're close. And if you're in the metro areas, you do have a, a pond that's super close to you. It gets stocked regular. Um, the last fishing or uh, catfish stocking for the summer we just did here today and last week. Um, so, but those those catfish last all summer long. They'll even over uh, last more than a year. You know, the trout the trout won't survive the summer, um, but we'll be back stocking trout again in in November or so. So, all right, October. Ian. You already know about it. You know that the temperatures are going to cool off in the next couple of days. At least that's what you're telling us. It's the best time if you ever thought about it to go fishing.